artificially intelligent processor face identification 20 megapixel plus 16 megapixel dual lens camera and a bezel-less display with a price tag of just 30,000 Indian rupees. The Honor View 10 launched a few days back and who doesn't love to use a phone powered by a chipset with built-in neural network processing unit or you can say NPU. Coming about the appearance, in the back it has the dual antenna band well hidden with the curve of the edge. After that it has dual cameras. The 20 megapixel primary camera is monochrome and the 16 megapixel camera is the RGB camera with a 1.8 aperture. With the full view display, the images taken with the back camera is something that everyone demands from a phone of that price range. It has wide aperture mode which works decent and captures the depth of the field very well. Also it has moving picture mode. This image captured with the mentioned mode. The picture doesn't have a blurry effect or shaking effect, which is good, but the quality of the picture kind of ruined by the mode. The 13 megapixel front camera gives a good quality images, but it takes a little bit of time to sharpen the image, which may be a little irritating for some users. In the top, it has an infrared sensor and the secondary microphone. And at the bottom, it has a single speaker similar to the Honor 7X, but the quality of the speaker is way too better than the Honor 7X. After that, it has the primary microphone and the USB Type-C port with fast charging support. And it has a headphone jack also. It has a 5.99 inch 18 is to 9 ratio LCD display with 1080 into 2160 pixels and 403 ppi pixel density. With a bezel-less design, we all expected the display not to be a LCD. But the display is bright. Comparing side by side with the same settings and the same brightness level, the color of the display of the View 10 looks more cool. In the right side, the color of the display of the 7X looks more warm than the View 10. The fingerprint sensor at the bottom of the screen is a bit slow, and the screen doesn't turn on immediately after it detects the fingerprint. But it has a face recognition which is perfectly working. With OTA update, they'll bring the face unlock feature to it. It is running on UMUI 8.0 with Android Oreo 8.0. I have spent playing games more than 1.5 hours continuously. With 6 GB of RAM, the games run smoothly. RAM management is good and I hope it will be better with the OTA update we all are waiting for. It has a 3750 mAh of battery which lasts longer than a full day even after using it with full brightness and many more things that consumes power heavily. It has a dual 4G and dual voltage support with hybrid SIM slot. It has a 128GB of internal space to make sure that you don't need any kind of additional storage support. But you never know what is going to happen next. Sadly, it doesn't have a gyroscope, which may be a bad news for VR users. Well, after all the things, it is completely your choice to go for this phone with a price tag of 30,000 Indian rupees. But with AI powered processor and facial recognition, which hardly available under 30,000 Indian rupees, we hope this is the future we all are waiting for. So that's all for today guys and if you guys like this video please give this video thumbs up and if you guys don't like this video please go to the comment box and stay to listen there and if you guys like this video please hit the subscribe button down there it is free to subscribe and I am Shikas signing up for today we will be back with a new video soon so till then goodbye.